Well, I think this has to be a unique situation in the history of uh, the Alumni Association Awards and, uh, and the faculty, because I have the pleasure of introducing my daughter, Elizabeth Susan Potts Dellen, for the uh, 25th Silver Anniversary Award. The coin of the realm in academics, of course, is things like publications, and she has uh, 38 publications, I think, nine with her as the first author, uh, which indicates she did the, the legwork on the project. <laughs> yeah, and uh, uh, she's had uh, another coin of the realm is uh, uh, abstracts. She's had something like 50 abstracts published uh, in her field. Uh, so academically, she's really done a superb job. She's won 11 awards in both uh, teaching and research in her career. And um, I find that particularly gratifying. She is a teacher as part of her position as professor of medicine at UNC. Uh, but I had no idea she was so active in that. One of the awards that I am particularly proud of really is not dealing with teaching. It's something called the Golden Heart Award at UNC Hospital. So she works with children, with parents as well as children. Um, she's worked in genetic counseling of parents who have had kids and want to be careful. Uh, she's also become a real promoter of palliative care. And that's the heartbreaking side of cystic fibrosis, that at some point, often in the teens, the late teens, palliative care is the way to deal with things. So I very much admire her for doing that because that's an emotional load on top of her administrative load and her clinical rounds. She's um, extremely warm and friendly, which sometimes would, I think, strike people as a little bit different from the CV side, because she's a very high achiever that way. But she's fun, she has a ready laugh, she's fun to be with, and of course, as a child, we always had so much fun together. Another dimension to Elizabeth is that she's done a wonderful job in raising, along with her husband Evan, who's also an MD at UNC, uh, raising two adorable granddaughters of mine. And <laughs> for that, I'm eternally, eternally grateful. So she came to Gustavus. Uh, she got involved in Curriculum 2, but she also got involved in a brand new biochemistry major that we started offering in basically her freshman year at Gustavus. And so she was one of the early graduates in the biochemistry major program. And she was with her friends doing summer research in biochemistry at Gustavus. And all the sorts of things that we like to point to about Gustavus that make the, <clears throat> pardon me, a special place to come to college. She'll get a call from the hospital and one of her kiddos, as she calls them, had passed away. And um, that was, um, those times have been a couple of those. It's very difficult. And we, you know, sit back and talk a little bit about it. And I listen to her talk about her relationship with her patients. And uh, she's a deeply caring person. And I admire that very much about her. <laughs>